Rock Beer Lake Rock Beach. I am here at the, I believe it's the first ever Charm City Music Festival. Three stages, bands all over the place. And one of the more popular bands I suspect here today is going to be so. Valley. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I have Howard Spangler. He's going to have a Howie. Yeah. Howie Spangler well. here. And Howie's from Ballyhoo. That's Ballyhoo with an exclamation mark. Uh, Don't forget it. <laughs> now, Howie, where are you from? Because you're kind of from Baltimore, Bel Air, but you're kind of from LA. Is that right? Uh, actually, no. We're uh, we're just um, we actually we're from Aberdeen, which is uh, 30 minutes north of Baltimore, and we've just been we've been there all our lives. We we go to California a lot, but uh, that, yeah, we're from here. Now, now do, you, do you tour a lot of coastlines? Because like uh, some fans of yours that we know kind of almost refer to it as like sort of, uh, I forget the term to use, surfer rock or surfer reggae and yeah. a lot of beach time. And Very much, yeah. Um, especially in the early days when we were playing a lot of bars and stuff where like we'd always end up in beach towns like constantly. Like I would book us uh, up and down the coast and usually like Florida, we'd go to Florida like four times a year for like five or six shows and we would just all beach towns, you know, the whole time. Um, and now, you know, a little more stuff going on, so we're playing like more legit venues and stuff. So it's not as we don't get to go to the beach as much as we used to, but uh, you know that's just part of it, I guess. But yeah, it's definitely a part that makes you want to go to the beach and then buy it. Now some may wonder the allure of the beach with this band, and, and it's hard for me to describe because if you listen to them, they're one of the more unique bands you can find out there today. It's an awesome blend of reggae and rock, and the newest album almost sounds like a little tiny bit of punk in there, influence in there. Um, now you're out on tour with Tribal Seeds right now, is that correct? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how that tour is going, and what kind of music they are, and how you play. Uh, it's good because um, the, the Tribal Seeds are from San Diego, and uh, they're a really good um, rootsy reggae band and just straight, you know, reggae. And uh, we weren't sure, like I wasn't sure how their, their fans would take us because they were more laid back and um, we're kind of really in your face, you know, and uh, with the punk rock kind of stuff. Um, but we carry the, the reggae influence as well. So um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, and the, the tour is called Night and Day Tour. Um, it's one of their new songs, but it's also, I think, they, I don't know if they did it on purpose, <laughs> but uh, it just makes total sense to me. It's like night and day, but it goes together. And um, the shows have been really awesome, and we, we've been playing in front of their their fans, and um, our fans have been seeing them. And, uh, it's just been a nice mix mixture, and the guys are really cool. And, uh, yeah, we got a, a couple more weeks left with these guys. So. Now, um, when we knew we were going to be meeting you, I picked up your 2011 album, Daydreams, which is an awesome album, and you guys are, are still touring that, but you have some new music coming up? Uh, you know, I'm always writing. I, I did a lot of writing on the work tour this summer. I uh, just kind of laid down a bunch of demos. And, uh, just, to, you know, any ideas I had, just throw them down, because, you know, we got to take the inspiration when it comes. And uh, I think we're going to, this winter, just kind of get together um, and rehearse and just jam a bunch of songs out, kind of like we did, we did with Day, Daydreams kind of see what sticks, um, you know, so there, there will be new music at some point. Right now it's just a bunch of ideas. The band's Warped Tour, was that, did that catapult you guys? I mean, did that take you to a different level as a band? Uh, yeah, because the, the, the level of professionalism that you have to sort of either throw into or just know, you, know, just, you, just, you have to really be on point. Like, you, you're, just, you're set to 30 minutes, you never know what time you're playing until, you know, 10, 30 a.m. every morning. So we could play it. 11:30, or we can play at 8 o'clock at night. It's just all mixed up, and they do that with all the bands. And uh, you have to be on and off when you're supposed to. You can't start early. You can't finish late. Um, if you finish late, they'll take time off your next set. Like it's, it's pretty crazy, Penalty you know? Box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you just really have to, you really have to, um, you know, know what you're doing. And uh, and and you know, we've been doing this kind of stuff for a long time, been touring professionally, so we knew what to expect. But um, I mean, they, they definitely run a tight ship, you know. Uh, I don't know, it was, and it was great. And by the end of the tour, I mean, more and more people coming to the stage and checking us out. Um, I think word was getting around, so it was definitely a great experience and, and worth everything. Uh, if you haven't heard of this band yet, they've been climbing really rapidly. You guys are one of MTV's top 100 bands, I think I saw. Can yeah. you tell a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, that was just something that just kind of came up last year. Um, we, uh, I think our publicist found it. She's like, look at this. And we just <laughs> happened to be on this list of 100 bands. And, um, I don't know, I mean, that says something, you know, obviously, like, we, we've been doing this on our own for so long, and, um, 
you know, to kind of get the recognition from such a huge media, it's a monster media outlet, you know, MTV, and uh, whether they play videos anymore or not, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, the website, they, they push music a lot, and um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's really nice to kind of get that recognition. Yeah, videos are not, uh, we're with you on that part, yeah, but uh, yeah. new single, Walk Away, can you tell us a little bit about the new single? Yeah, uh, it's the third single officially from the record, and uh, it's the second one to actually like, really get pushed as, as far as, like, radio. And, um, we, uh, it's a song about two people that are just, they realize that they're, they're getting older and they're, you know, it's, it's time to start thinking about marriage and all that stuff, and, you know, or so they think, and, but then they kind of realize that they don't really make each other happy, and it's kind of like, why are we doing this, and, and so it's kind of an amicable split between the two, uh, and they, it's sort of like a high five, like a, like a happy breakup, you know, it's like, just, let's not, let's not destroy each other, let's just end this and just go a separate ways. Listen, we want to say thank you for spending time. This is going to be a big share for these guys. Bally here today. Really I can tell you, just walking over to our little secluded spot here, this guy stopped six, seven times. He's got friends everywhere yeah. in this town. They are <laughs> a big wild. band in Baltimore, but they are a big band all across the country now. And MTV wouldn't lie to you about that. One of the top 100 bands. Uh, where can, where's the best place for folks to check out Bally Hughes' music? Uh, you know, we're all over iTunes. Um, if you want to uh, get it, we're on Pandora, we're on Spotify. Um, we have a SoundCloud account. We have you know the Facebook, and you know we still have a MySpace. You know. um, so just just anywhere, man. If you just Google Value Music, you'll find it. And uh, there is a video out last night. If you go to their website, you can check out one of their videos. You can check out last night. Oh, and one last question I forgot to ask you. Have you guys had a chance, because you're a rock but reggae band, have you played on the islands at all? And down there in the we, uh, or anywhere? We actually did the 311 Caribbean Cruise back in May. And, um, that was the first time we got to go and do like an island setting. We, uh, we, we didn't play on the beach, but we played on the boat, you know. And uh, it was just amazing. We were in the middle of nowhere uh, in the Bahamas. Uh, cell phones didn't work, and it was, it was awesome, no internet, you know, but I mean, there's like 3,000 people just rocking out, you know, and, uh, and going out with 311, of course, was, was great, too, because, like, they're one of our favorite bands growing up, and um, they've shown us a lot of love, and we respect them very much, and, uh, so just that combination of bands and the people, their fans are great people, and, uh, just a good, lovey vibe, you know. We're big fans of the music cruises, as our watchers know, we're going on our third or fourth one coming up soon this month. Um, third and fourth. So. Uh, how I want to thank, thank you for taking the time to be on Behind the Vans, Vans Tour. Uh, these guys are Ballyhoo, that's Ballyhoo with an exclamation point. Check them out online, check them out on tour. Uh, awesome band, we're going to see them this afternoon. And K-Rock from Mid-Atlantic Rock Reviews uh, with Howie from Ballyhoo.